Welcome to my video. Hey, I am Kristen Iris, film producer, writer, and coach who works with black creatives to cultivate liberation and make an impact with their work. And you're probably wondering what I'm doing on a yoga mat. Well, I also used to teach yoga and do body work. And in these coronavirus times, I wanted to bring you some techniques and different exercises that will help to calm the stress, calm the anxiety and help you focus so that you can step into your creative work if that is something that you are wanting to pursue right now. So for this video, I am gonna be sharing three easy breathing techniques that are going to help relax you. So they're going to induce that relaxation response and will also help you to focus so that you can get into whatever work it is that you wanna do. Or if it's not creative work, you wanna just be able to focus so that you can make dinner, that's cool too. But these are three easy breathing techniques and you can use them any time of the day. So for the first one, um, personally, I think it's easier to learn this if you're laying down because you can actually relax a little bit, but feel free to do this seated. Um, this position isn't always comfortable for people. That's why I don't necessarily recommend this position, but you can also do it seated in a chair with your feet flat on the floor. So I'm going to demonstrate it from laying down. So bring your feet flat, easing down to your back, resting your hips, resting your head letting your arms relax at your sides. For the moment, you can bring them palms up, palms down, doesn't really matter, whatever feels good for you. You can even let your knees rest in against each other if that feels good for you. And close your eyes, or I invite you to close your eyes so you can feel into your body. And without changing your breath at all, just feel your natural breath, the natural movement of your inhalation, of your exhalation, Feeling what parts of your body move. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with abdominal breathing and that's breathing down towards the lower part of your belly. So you're going to take your left hand and place your left hand on your belly. Take your right hand and place your right hand on your chest and get completely empty of the breath that you're on. And then as you inhale, Fill up just your belly so that your left hand moves, but not enough that your right hand moves so your ribs don't expand, just your belly expands. And then exhale and get completely empty. Feel your left hand lower down. And inhale again, filling up belly. And exhale, emptying the belly all the way. I'm doing this about two or three more times. Really feeling just your belly move. You're not inhaling enough that your chest moves at all. And as you do this breath, really tune into the sensation, the feeling of your body, your belly expanding around the breath. And this is a breath that is much like how you sleep or when you watch babies sleep, it is um, a deep relaxation breath. Now get completely empty of the breath. And this time when you inhale, inhale higher up in the ribs, the chest, feel your ribs expand, upper back broaden along the floor, but not inhaling enough that your belly moves. So only your right hand is moving. And then exhale, empty chest, feel your ribs draw in around the breath. And inhaling again, just filling up higher up in ribs, chest, upper back. Filling up with the breath. This is your thoracic breathing. This is a breath that moves along your thoracic spine. And then as you exhale, empty, feeling your right hand lower. And again, your left hand isn't moving. Your left hand is on belly. It shouldn't be moving at all. Just about two or three more times. And this breath here is a little bit more of an active breath. meaning it can be a little bit more energizing, a little more elevating, but not to the point of like panicking or causing anxiety, but it is a fuller, uh, a fuller breath that gets more into your lung capacity. Whereas the abdominal breathing is more about moving your diaphragm, which is your main breathing apparatus. 
Now getting completely empty of the breath that you're on, we're gonna combine the two. And what this is gonna do is allow you to have a really full breath in that uses your diaphragm, uses more of your lung capacity and oxygenates your system. And this helps to, um, it helps you to have a little bit more relaxation because you're using more of your breath. It helps you feel grounded, but it also in a non-anxiety way can be energizing because you're really nourishing yourself with oxygen. So emptying the breath that you're on, inhale, fill up low in belly so that your left hand moves first and then fill up higher in ribs and chest so that your right hand rises. And then as you exhale, empty from the chest first. So your right hand starts to lower, your ribs draw in, and then empty belly. We'll do it again. Inhale, filling up belly first, left hand rises. Filling up ribs and chest, right hand rises. And exhale, emptying chest and ribs. And then emptying belly. So feel for continuing this breath. And feel what's different about it, the sensations, where your breath touches in the body. Really tune into the feeling of it as you inhale and exhale. And keep breathing in this way. This is actually a really um, healthy and nourishing breath that you could use throughout the day. The truth is most people breathe just enough to not die. So when you start expanding your breath you're really expanding your breath capacity you're stretching and moving your diaphragm in a more optimal way and your diaphragm is connected to every major system in your body your immune system your circulatory system your respiratory system obviously um, even your digestive system it's connected to everything and so as you start to expand your breath and really use your diaphragm the way it's supposed to move and the way it's supposed to function then you are actually helping all of the systems. And in this time when we have a virus, good immune system function is really, is really important. It's also connected to your nervous system, which is why I'm talking about inducing that relaxation response. All right, keep breathing in this way. So that was actually the first breath exercise, abdominal thoracic breath. It was the combination of the two so that you have a fuller breath which helps to, again, induce relaxation, but can also be energizing in a positive way. It can help you focus and feel grounded so that you can actually do whatever it is that you need to do. This is a great breath to do also if you're feeling anxiety in the moment or something is really stressing you out, is really come back to that breath because it helps to relax your nervous system. Now, the next breath we're gonna do, and you can do this from seated. I actually recommend it a little bit more from seated. This is more of an active breath. Keep doing, you can do it from your abdominal thoracic breath, but as you inhale, filling up through your body, filling up as much as you comfortably can without straining. And then as you exhale, you're going to sigh out with your mouth open. So it'll sound like this. And then inhale, filling up again. Open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out. And this is a clearing breath. So inhale again, exhale, sigh it out. You can imagine that you're letting go of the stress, you're letting go of any anxiety, you're just blowing it out of your mouth. So keep doing this breath. It's uh, kind of like a mind body uh, breathing because you can use it to, again, imagine that you're just clearing out, you're letting go of anything mucky, anything that needs to be released and releasing that out of you so that ah, you can come back to whatever it is that you need to focus on that you need to do. See, very simple breathing exercises. That breath is also can be kind of a heating one, which is good if you're feeling kind of low energy, um, it can be elevating, but again, in a way that doesn't induce anxiety, in a way that just feels like you're charging up so that you can Put your energy into what you need to. Now, the third breath exercise is like that. It's a little bit different. You're actually bringing sound into it. So it's the same thing, but you're bringing more sound. You're actually toning out. And 
this is another way it's more of like a more intense way of clearing if you're like i really need to let something go sound is a great way to do that sound is a vibration it buzzes you up and it can help to clear things out so this breath you're going to tone out when you do it it sounds like this or you can do whatever tone you want ah. so you can stick your tongue out Open your mouth wide when you do it. If you feel silly, that's okay. Just go with it. Inhale, filling up really full. And then exhale, sighing out and blowing out with a sound. Ah. It's a very good clearing breath, Ugh, especially if you're feeling any kind of frustration or if you're feeling any negative feelings, this is a great way to clear it out of your system. So you can continue doing that breath, but these are three breath exercises or really easy breath techniques that you can pretty much use all the time. Abdominal thoracic breath, honestly, that's a breath that you can be doing all day long because that's really more how we should be breathing instead of breathing super shallow like we do um, in the chest, barely moving the chest, that's how most people breathe. So it's a really, really good breath. And then the sighing out is a nice clearing breath. You can use that at the beginning of whenever you're doing your creative work. You can use it whenever you need to just oh, let something go. And then that uh, sound, that toning out or lion's breath as it is also called, that is a great one if you like really, really need to release something. And it's also energizing um, in a positive way. It kind of buzzes you up with sound, with that vibration. And that can make you feel a little bit energized. And then you can move that into your creative work. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, let me know how you do with these, how this might help when you're bringing it into your creative work or just into your day so that you can focus, so that you can live a little bit better. Um, also, I just want to make a note about this with the, the abdominal thoracic breath. If you're not used to breathing that fully, if you get a little bit lightheaded, that's okay. That's normal. It's just because you're getting more oxygen than you're used to. So you're oxygenating your system. So don't get freaked out if you get a little bit lightheaded. Um, it's just because you're breathing in a way that you're not used to that's actually filling you up with more oxygen So it's good stuff. It's good stuff So thanks for watching this if you have not joined the melanated rising house Which is our dope-ass community for black creatives make sure that you go to melanated rising.mn.co to join um, where you will get more tips and support and community connection with other brilliant black creatives who are in there who want to make an impact on the world Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video